So we join Father Jebedo and those of his group who are celebrating the 25 years of their priestly service to the people of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
Father Francis, preside over your family, not by any merit of his, but out of the abundance of your untold grace alone, grant, Lord, that he may carry out what is the ministry of the priestly office, and under your governance in all things, may direct the people entrusted to his care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
Kwe na Liberia, Elaine Kendo Ichichi na watu ni Asai. Dancers tafadhali ni tafute pale mketi ili tusikize neno la Bwana. Wale ambao wanatembea tafadhali ni fanye hivyo. Mwa mkuango Kigole kitabu Mar Tim Jolawi Nyaka ukuan sabato Abirio magihigini Mael higini abirio Nyadibirio Tiendeni higini Trangwen gochiko Dwe apar Dwe marabirio ehigano Ma enchien Puadruok Unugotu epinyu duto Tamano unuwal higa mar piero abich Pugo yo milomi Mondo bed higa miwewe Pinyu duto tuolo Higa no no bed higa mar mor Mangato kangato No dogi e turgi Kuom jo odgi Higa mar piero abich no No bed nu higa mar mor Kik uchuo e kata kikukae uroe Kendo kikuponie mzabibu Monyak Anyaka Eyen mane ok uloso Ni mar en higa marmor Manyaka uwal maler Ni ruot nyasai Unucham git monyak elu E higa marmor nogono Ngato kangato kuomu no dog turgi Kangato Nye olo kuadgi Toki ngato Wondwadgi Nyaka kuan higni Chakre higa marmor mokado Kendo nengo no ket Marom regi higni Mapod Ibiro keyoe Ka higni gongen Tono chul nengo mamalo Toka genok, tono chul nengo mapi. Nikecha mibiro kayo, ema ongyeo. Kik ngato kuomu, uondu wadgi. Tomondo uluol nyasachu. Nikech, anieruot nyasai, manyasachu. Rituru chikena, kendo ulugi, eka unudage pinyo nogikwe. Lo no chiegicham, Mi unuchiem, mu yeng, kendo unudagi kwe. Wat nyasai. The responsorial song Psalm 41, response is, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. From all eternity and forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. From all eternity and forever.
second reading, a letter to Romans. We who are strong ought to put with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please our neighbors for the good, for building up. For Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the insults of those who insult you fall upon me. For whatever was written previously was written for our instruction, that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scripture, we might have hope. May the God of endurance, encouragement, grant you to think in harmony with one another, in keeping with Christ Jesus, that with one accord, you may with, with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, then as Christ welcomed you, for the glory of God, the word of the Lord. came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up and read and found the passage where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year of acceptance of to the Lord. 
rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good and that is his nature. That uh, umbrella for the Rosary, Rosary was holding does not express his stance on uh, what was on that umbrella. Well, you might think because he was holding it, is in agreement with what was written on it. <laughs> Can we have that umbrella, please? <laughs> and kindly open it. Because, you know, this Mass is live. And people can think we are promoting this during Mass, which is not true. This is not what we promote as Catholics. And if this umbrella is yours as a Catholic, you are promoting something that goes against your faith. And it should not appear in a place like this. Sister, take care of it. <coughs> Brother Francis, an enemy wanted to spoil your celebration. <laughs> God is good and all the time. God is good and all the time. Yes, I Today we are gathered here to celebrate 25 years of service to the people of God by Father Francis and his colleagues. Kindly step forward, Father Francis, and those you are ordained with the people of God to see you. Brother Francis. Let's introduce yourselves to the congregation. Not all of us know you. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good and that is his nature. I am. Father Francis Gabedi, Orwa, a Franciscan Capuchin. Sorry. I am Father Francis Gabedo, Orwa, a Franciscan Capuchin. That is my congregation. And I love Jesus. <laughs> God is good all the time. and all the time. God is good and that is his nature. And I am a witness. To Musibi Yesu Christ. Milele na milele ya mi. Jina ni Charles Njoroge. Dugu mdogo mkapochino. Ata mimi na timisa Robo Kane. Yepriyadiwa Robo Kane. Asadeki sir. They say there were six. One of them died, there remained five. There's a reason why the five are still alive. And one of them is Francis. It means God still has work for him in this world, to minister to the people of God in the church. When we celebrate the Jubilee, 
or the anniversary of the priesthood, it takes us back to the first reading we have had today from the book of Leviticus, chapter 25, which talks about God's instruction to Moses. After the people of God have entered the Holy Land, how they are supposed to behave while in Holy Land to remember the marvels of God and what God has done for his people. And one of the things they are supposed to keep is the Sabbath. The Sabbath and the multiplication of Sabbaths until they reach to what we can call the Super Sabbath. That is a celebration of 49 50 years every occasion after every 49 years there is to be a celebration that marks once more as a reminder of what is going on between God and his people and in the year of Jubilee which was supposed to be 49 years 50 years Several things were supposed to happen. In that year, all debts were to be forgiven. In that year, people who had been dispossessed of land regained their ancestral land. That means the year of Jubilee marks the year of grace, an experience of grace from God by the people of God. The year of Jubilee is an experience of liberation, an experience of freedom. The year of Jubilee reminded the people of Israel of God's special care for the poor and for the oppressed. The Lord who comes to look after the poor and the oppressed the people who call themselves the people of God, the nation of God, must also behave like God himself, looking after the poor and looking after the oppressed. In the year of Jubilee, all land was to be left fallow, not to be cultivated. And the people could feed only of what came from the ground by itself. There was no pruning, there was no harvesting, there was no weeding, none of those was there. And the poor in that year had access to all the fruits of the land. There was to be no work in the year of Jubilee. A second reminder, land belongs to God and the fruits of the land belong to God. We are just beneficiaries. And because the fruits of the land belong to God, and we are just beneficiaries, we must learn to share. We must learn to share the fruits of the land. That is why the poor had to be left to harvest from any land for their needs and for their benefit. And that is why those who had lost their land had sold their land because of harsh economic times. In the 50th year, those people got back their land. The year of Jubilee. And from this, we have the celebration of today. The celebration of today is half of what the Bible is talking about. 25 years. Many people celebrate 25 years because they are afraid they will not reach 50. <laughs> so 25 is like a prelude saying this is my insurance policy just in case I don't reach the real jubilee then at least I will have fulfilled what is required of me. But today we are not just celebrating any jubilee it is jubilee of the sacred priesthood and we'll do well on a day like this 
reflect on what priesthood means for the church and what priesthood is and why should Father Francis and his colleagues celebrate the day of their ordination because the sacrament of the priesthood is in a way the fulfillment of what the first reading is saying reading of today, the year of Jubilee, as we have heard from the Gospel, Jesus has said, this reading is fulfilled in your hearing today. Because the year of Jubilee was the year of grace, was the year of the special care of God for his people, it was the year of liberation, the year of freedom, the year of the realization of God's special care for the poor, the year of the realization that everything belongs to God, including all that we own and must be used to glorify and sanctify His name. Jesus proclaims He has come to fulfill all that. In Jesus Christ, we celebrate the ultimate, the most perfect jubilee for the human race. Because in Jesus Christ, we celebrate God's perfect release of his people from the worst poverty and from the worst slavery. The poverty that touches the spirit and the poverty that touches the heart. The poverty of being away from God. The poverty of sin. So when Jesus comes and says this message, this prophecy is fulfilled in your hearing, Jesus is saying, today is the day of the culmination, the day of fulfillment, when God's promise to his people was to be fulfilled on this day. This is the year of Jubilee. The year of Jubilee. And that is what we are celebrating here today in Father Francis and his colleagues. He is saying all the last 25 years, he has tried to be like Christ. He has tried to be the fulfillment of the promise of God to his people in Jesus Christ. He has tried to be another Christ. He has tried to step in the shoes of Jesus Christ. He has tried to present Christ to the world and to his people. And he has tried to be the link between God and his people. This is why he was ordained. And this is why he lives as a priest. And this is why he will die as a priest. 25 years of service to the people of God, reminding the people of God. God loves the poor. God takes care of the poor. God has compassion towards the oppressed. God looks after the oppressed. And those who have become Christians have taken over the name of Jesus Christ must learn to live the Jubilee every day of their life. One, love the poor. Take care of the poor. Look after the oppressed the widows, the orphans, the strangers in our midst require our special attention. Na katika hii misa, tunaomba kwamba tunaposherekea miaka 25 ya upadri ya huduma kwa kanisa na kwa watu wa Mungu, ya wao mapadri wawili, Mungu atusaidie kila mmoja wetu awe jubilei katika maisha ya Wakristo wenzake ila mmoja wetu awe jubilei kwa jumuiya yake 
kila mmoja wetu awe jubilei katika familia yake na kila mmoja wetu awe jubilei katika parokia yake tupate kutangaza msimamo wa Mungu mbele za maskini na wale ambao wananyanyaswa na kila patri wa kanisa katoliki ameteuliwa kwa hili jambo kila mara anasimama upande wa maskini upande wa walio nyanyaso kwa sababu anapozungumzia kwa niaba ya hao watu anachukua mahala pa Mungu katika kanisa tunaelezewa kwamba kila mmoja wetu ambaye amekuwa Mkristo amekuwa padri katika sakramenti ya ubatizo na kila mmoja wetu amekuwa padri katika sakramenti ya kipaimara wa mwito wetu wa Kikristo sote tumefanywa mapadri makuani kwa sababu katika sakramenti ya ubatizo sisi sote tumechukua nafasi ya Kristo nafsi ya Kristo imekuwa yetu we have become like Christ in the sacrament of baptism And the church teaches us because of this all of us who have been baptized share in what is called the common priesthood of Jesus Christ by virtue of baptism we have become prophets we have become priests we have become kings with Jesus Christ a person who has been baptized prophesies speaks on behalf of God delivers the message of God to the people a person who has been baptized is a person who glorifies God by ministering to other people through the common priesthood and how do i exercise the common priesthood by living the virtues of faith hope and charity and that applies to all of us because we are baptized we show that we are priests together with Christ by having faith by having hope by having charity but we also so show that we have been baptized we are together with Christ by demonstrating we have become kings we reign with Christ Christ is king he has conquered sin because he has conquered sin we have conquered sin with him of the cross the common priesthood which we share all of us by virtue of the sacrament of baptism the sacrament of confirmation and because we share in the common priesthood why we participate in the sacrifice of the mass but that is not the only priesthood in the church there is another second priesthood that is the one we are celebrating today it is called the ministerial priesthood the common priesthood is for our sanctification is for living our faith is for living in hope is for practicing charity the ministerial priesthood is for the service of the common priesthood we are made priests for you to serve you to teach you to tell you about god we tell you all the truth even if you don't like it we are supposed to tell you when a person says my contraceptive my choice that person is wrong it is not catholic teaching why because your body is the temple of the holy spirit the human body is the temple of the holy spirit it cannot be your choice when did you apply to god to be born for it to be your choice you know what adam and eve were told they were told you may eat of every fruit tree but the fruit tree of the distinction between what is right and what is wrong what is good and what is evil you will not touch when people say things like the one on this umbrella here the one father asare was was holding those are people who are trying to eat that food 
a forbidden fruit. A forbidden fruit. And they are trying to spoil the name of a good priest by giving him the umbrella to hold in public. Don't touch. Don't touch. That tree in the middle of the garden that distinguishes between good and evil. Why? Because that is not our work. That belongs to God. That belongs to God. And it is it is the responsibility of the priests in the ministerial priesthood to constantly remind the people of God of the truth of God in the Bible, the truth of God in tradition, the truth of God as the church continues to teach through the ages. That is what Father Francis is celebrating today. That God made him a priest for you, to serve you, to be committed to his ministry because of you, to die for you in defense, in defense of the faith. That is what all of us are committed to. And he's saying, for 25 years, he has tried to live faithfully. His priestly calling, living for Christ putting his life on the line for Christ and being ready to die for Christ and for the people to whom he has been consecrated. As one saintly person instructs us and tells us, every priest must remember to look after the people of God. If I may paraphrase, every, sar every service you give to the people of God, give that service as if it were the first service. Give that service as if it were the last service. Give that service as if it were the only service. I have paraphrased because originally it refers to Mass. That every priest has to celebrate every Mass as if it were his first Mass. Father Jebel, you remember the day you celebrated your first Thanksgiving Mass? You know how you felt. Every Mass, you must celebrate it like that. And celebrate as if it is your last Mass. Every priest celebrates Mass saying, after this Mass, I might die. After this Mass, I might die. I will not have another opportunity to celebrate Mass. But the third one is even more important. To celebrate it as if it were the only Mass. The only chance you have to celebrate Mass. How would you celebrate it? That is how every Mass is supposed to be celebrated. With calm, with solemnity, with your heart there, your body there. Everybody united like the angels and the saints as they join us during the sacrifice of the Mass. This is what we would like to remember today. When every priest celebrates the Jubilee, will it be an anniversary of 10 years, anniversary of 25 years, anniversary of 50 years, anniversary of 70 years? The question that we should keep asking ourselves, have I been serving the people of God as if it were the last service, as if it were the first service, as if it were the only service? Or am I bungling it? Am I despising the people of God? Am I mistreating the people of God? You know, most times, at least to attend you during homilies in Mass, we preach to you. Today we preach to ourselves. How we treat you. We would ask ourselves, how do we treat you? Or how do we mistreat you? How do we take care of you? Do we take care of you as good shepherds? Or are we wolves? Do we feed you? Or do we feed on you? What is our relationship with the flock? 
of Christ. We are the good shepherds. We are supposed to feed you, to take you to greener pastures. When one of you gets lost, we bring you back. That's why the, that's why the Bakora of the bishop has a hook. To bring back those that are those that are um, are straying eh? and those that are moving slowly to push them to move a bit move a bit fast. The care of the shepherd. The care of the shepherd to look after the people of God. This is the day we preach to ourselves as priests, as bishops, and we question the integrity of our service to the people of God. The celebration of Father Francis is a celebration of all of us because it is the celebration of God's special care for his people, the poor, the oppressed, especially those oppressed by sin. As a priest, I must give special emphasis to the sacrament of reconciliation. As a priest, I must give special care to the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, Yes, all the sacraments pronounce the liberation of the people of God, the sacrament of reconciliation, anointing of the sick in a special way. None of my Christians should die without being anointed out of my negligence. None of my Christians should come to receive without confession out of my negligence. This that's why I say this a day to preach to ourselves. None of my Christians shall die before baptism out of my negligence. If it's beyond all that I could do, it is okay. But if it's out of negligence, I will have to answer to the Master himself why I was negligent in my duties. So my brothers in the priesthood, let us serve the people of God as if it were the first service, as if it were our last service, as if it were our only service, the only chance we have to give praise and glory to God by serving His people. Let us take a short moment to reflect on the reflection on the homily of His Christ. The following people will lead us in the prayers of the faithful. Philip Okungu, Friar Dakere, one of the religious sisters, Claudencia Okwaro, and Fred Asues. For more than 25 years, Father Francis has been teaching us about faith. He has lived that faith since his baptism. Let us therefore arise and profess that faith. Aye nya sai won manyalo gik moko duto No lori e limbo che kana de e che kum jomoto Bete lwa doma kora chwich, mare nyasai uon, manya logi kumoko duto. Kama noa kudugo yalo jomange ma kijomoto. A yesu ni matakatifu, eklisia matatolik matakatifu, reuro wakumajo takatifu, golo maricho, shir maringro, nge ma maukrum. Amen. To God the Father Almighty, Dear brothers and sisters, 
May every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Yesai banya logi kumoko duto. Wapa yuniyuru kama anoku mitvangi ma mimeo wa kaka johot. Mondo wa bedu kodu kwe kodu hera yudewa. Kaka johot patakatifu. Mar Joseph Maria. Yede maru. Wanwa manyaka nene Ago ni ero kamano Kumyatini Francis Jabedo Mani chivo Kaka rangisi edi edaga ni avora Oseti moduto monyalo Kaka no iye Rodu watio ni avora Oseti moko yoro bunge Kwa uwe yogidyo kristo Kundeka kuwele ya nyasachwa Kupunje rekord ni avora Oseti manyaka koro osani Opa arora parma are marini kiyari yoga dinti. Uora, medutege, mechir. Or mechuni mate katifu mundo sikori kile kakile. Kesi kama ki uote na endowe chengeni. Tembe udure iya kanya ya nyasachwa. Medutege mundo nyingi yoyu duongi ya lemo haru. A prayer for vocation. Father Almighty, we thank you for the gift of religious life through the intercession of Mary, our mother. Inspire among us and boys to follow this way of life. May the Lord hear us. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray and thank you for the gift of this day that we are celebrating together with Father Francis. We thank you, Father, for the gift of Father Francis in his family, in the church, and to all the people whom he serves. We pray and ask you to grant peace. Give us peace within our hearts, peace in the communities where we live, peace in our country, Kenya, and peace in the entire world. Lord, hear us. Almighty God, during the hard economic status in Kenya, we pray for peace in Kenya. And again, our Almighty God, add more wisdom for the right reverence at Bishop of Sumo Mori. Because without wisdom, we can't lead all the priest in the whole entire Archdiocese of Kitumu and Christians at large. Thank you we give to you, our Almighty God, people of St. Dominic Kianja, to maintain and sustain the two priests, Father Evans and Father Jabedo and the dear God. We thank you because physically they look like Kianja, and the Kianja look like them. God hear us. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion. And grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith, we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. En sa mar sadaka, wan gigi je sadaka, ibiro kesno ake, ikonde maratiere. Kisang ko patuli, ulam de patuli boxes, dapat ibi brot next. Thank 
yote ndio kile sadaka yenakaja
Look in mercy on the ministry given to your servant by your grace and through the power of this oblation direct the hearts of the priests and people to be so disposed that the obedience of the flock may never fail the shepherd nor the care of the shepherd be lacking for the flock through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is my It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, who is the true and eternal Christ, who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice, and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial, as we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us. We are made strong, and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean, and so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith.
my Lord, your servant. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their soul, in hope of health and well-being. And praying and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with all whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph has passed, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul and Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement Sixtus, Cornelius Cyprian, Lawrence Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, those who are saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our sons, that of your whole family. Hold our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, O Lord, as 
we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we your servants and your holy people, offered your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also your servants Reverend George Oduol, Silvanus Orwa, Christina Onyura, Pascal Odiambo, Lydia Adoyo, Nicholas Owino, Rispa Juma, Martha Adoyo, Julius Otieno, Kennedy Ocheng Odiambo, Joseph Njaroge, Magdalene Wamboy, John Kiru Njeroge, Paul Nginya Kimani, and all who have died in this village, who have gone before you with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who go sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, gracious a grant some share and fellowship in your holy apostles and martyrs. With John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius Alexander, Marcelinus Peter, Felicity Popetua, Akata, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O oh Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our Father
us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Satan. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, glory is yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lemon Marvitio, Rodan, Sacha, 
mar chokruok mar sinaol wachung e nyimi a chuny matakatifu kendo wachokore e nyimi Let us now arise for the post-communion prayer. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, Source and perfection of every virtue. Grant, we pray, that by participation in this mystery, we may do what is right and preach what is true, so that by our deeds and our words, we may offer the faithful instruction in your grace. Through Christ our Lord. of the service you are giving to the people of God, they are happy with you. That is why you look like them. And they look like you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the month is ended. Before we have the Thanksgiving song and other programs, we'll move straight to the blessings of the grave. We'll, uh, the priest, the choir, and the family members will move to the gravesite. The rest will wait for us here. The choir.
sana siku zote Atukuze baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu na mwanzo na sasa na siku zote Atukuze baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu na mwanzo na sasa na siku zote Raya milele uwape e bwana Mwanga wa milele uangazie Mzike kwa amani Amen God is good All the time God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Capuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki. Na hii Capuchin TV, ni chombo kizuri sana. Na chombo hiki, kazi yake ni evangelization. Kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu. Jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Capuchin TV kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri kuna mafundisho kuna misa takatifu kila siku kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane utazame Capuchin TV jambo la pili uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya manake ndio TV ya kipekee ya Catholic na mabishop wanaisupport kabisa manake inafanya kazi mzuri kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support wewe wana paybill number watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support mwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill number na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo asatendi father kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 5106678 account name Caps TV. You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember, to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity.